chicken and the hack. And they're lying to Donald Trump and they're lying to the people. Everybody else had access to him. Nobody, nobody called him. MSNBC didn't call him. CNN didn't call him. Nobody else here called him. I called him. I got Bill Binney. Uh, same thing with Venezuela. I got Max Blumenthal. Max Blumenthal is in the country. Hey, did this really happen? CNN saying that Max Blumenthal, no, that didn't happen. Everybody else waited three more weeks for the New York Times to tell them it didn't happen. We told you it happened in real time right here. We debunked it. Nobody paid attention to us. We're supposed to be debunking the mainstream news media, not waiting for them to debunk themselves. And we're doing it right here at this show. So if anybody wants to watch this show, we're debunking the bull of the corporate news media every week in here, which is what we're supposed to do at the Young Turks. This is supposed to be our mission, not repeating what the establishment news says, but debunking it. And that's what we're doing here. And this is the same mainstream media who would- Or some other natural resource. And we install a puppet yes. that's going to keep the money from their natural resources from their people and give it to American corporations. And, and why doesn't the news media, I mean- Because they're owned by the people they're course. supposed to be exposing. Right, that's exactly right. Which is right. why if you get yeah. it wrong and you work for YouTube, there's no point to you. Yeah, no, look, that's- that tells you everything you need to know, right? Different way, if you would criti be critical of Obama and you were more centrist uh, liberal friends, just didn't want to hear it. And you were talking about drone strikes or double no. taps. And, and, they and don't want to hear it, they don't want to hear it. And, yeah. or, the, or the irony of people who are, even on this network has smeared me as a conspiracy theorist because I covered a news story that had the name Seth Rich in it. I covered it one day, covered it, didn't push it. And people on this network lie to their own viewers and say that I pushed, and they're the ones who've been pushing this conspiracy at the top of their lungs for three years. And they're a bunch of liars and frauds. <clears throat> And, and uh, I've been getting it right, and so, I'm a f comedian. Here's my question. Be held accountable. <laughs> <laughs> We're all he's, traitors. He, he I'm can't a traitor, be, you're a traitor. He's acting, this is not real. And you think Glenn Beck is crazy? Hi everybody, welcome back to the Jimmy Dore show. I mean, the thing, aggressive, progressive. <laughs> I'm doing nice one. I'm trying. He's to, multitasking. I'm trying to work at the same time. I, yeah. I can't find that. All right, so I'm gonna. Um, Ron Placone nails it. He says, guys, it turns out we were all dead on the island the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Placone. Here's a question. I say, uh, let's say you spent two plus years ceaselessly hyping a Trump-Russia conspiracy on your top rated news show. Mueller has just finished his probe by finding no conspiracy. If you're Rachel Maddow, how much time do you then spend reporting on that result? 30 seconds. I saw that, I watched that episode. She spent 30 seconds talking about the debunking of her theory and then she moved on to another theory. Can you believe that? Your theory gets debunked and you immediately invent another uh, uh, evidence-free conspiracy theory just to keep going because your ego is so much that you can't handle it. What do you want to say, Malcolm? Okay, well, I have uh, I have three.